The point is, politics still is very, very difficult. In this country now, we have to have some people to encourage other person. Namaskar, welcome to Chai Chat with Lavina. Chai Chat, where we discuss issues that affect you and me living in Britain. And today's Chai Chat is in flavors of India. Not the one in House Lowe, but the one in Paddington, right in central London, where we get Khana completely puppy style. Bilkul chaka chak Delhi style ka khana. There are almost 2.5 million Indians or people of Indian descent living in Britain, but only eight of them have found it to the House of Commons in the British Parliament. Only eight of them have become member of Parliament. The House of Lords has not done very well by much. So why are Indians so underrepresented in the British Parliament is the question that we are raising today in Chai Chai and also asking what can be done about it. Uh, thank you very much, everybody here, for joining us on uh, Chai Chat. Today, we have already finished a lot of food, we finished chai also, but we are a lot coming in. Thanks to Mr. Sethi, who owns the Flavors of India, again in Paddington. Tell me, your food is very good. Thank you very much. So before <laughs> we start, let me just introduce the lovely panel that I have today. On my left is Baroness Varma. She's the Minister of Energy and Climate Change. On my right here is uh, Mr. Sunil Chopra. He's the Mayor of Sadak and actually uh, the only Indian who has been chosen from the Sadak Borough in London. Yes. Um, and here we have Mayuri Parmar. She is uh, the director of Conservative Friends of India, uh, the party, as I can say. And on my right uh, is Mr. Darren Mackey, who is a member of the Conservative Party. Um, there on the far left, Mr. Ashok Verma, he's the chairman of NRI Foundation, very crucial uh, kadi in this, uh, in this episode today. And of course, Mr. Sethi who's the owner of uh, this restaurant. Thank you very much, everybody. And as we're discussing today about uh, the number of Indians who live in the UK are not represented, uh, are not represented that well in the Parliament, uh, in the House of Commons, let's start with. So, Baron Swarma, you have been on this issue, I know. Should we start with you? Um, thank you very much and I'm really pleased that it's a really important debate to be had coming up to 2015 election we've got a rising population within the Indian diaspora and yet we are not that well represented in both houses particularly in the Commons where we only have eight um, members of Parliament yes um, from the diaspora and to be quite frank, it's not good enough. Yeah. And we need to really make sure that all political parties mm. actually take some <coughs> grip of this mm. issue. Because unless we look like the people we represent, to, there will be disenfranchised um, people and they yeah. don't then vote. Yes, absolutely. I mean, um, yes, and, and we have just seen a, a study that has come by OBB, which says that we'll have 30% rise in, in, the, I mean, in the next election, probably ethnic minority votes, which includes Indians who are the biggest group, would play a major role. So why has this been the case is what, and you have actually managed to fight through this and become the mayor. So t tell me, wh why do you think that's ha that has happened up to now? And please, everyone is free to eat and free to butt in as well. <laughs> Thanks, Lavina, to yeah. inviting me to such a lovely discussion. Like Baroness Verma said, there is a need to discuss this issue more openly and formal way also and informal way. So I'm glad you have taken this initiative. Yeah. As, as you know, that I'm the first Indian consul in London Borough of Sadar. Yeah. Because we don't have many Indians there. Yeah. We have less than one and a half percent population of, uh, from <coughs> that continent. Mm. And I was the first consul. Then I am the first mayor to become the consul of that borough. Yeah. So I personally think there's two reasons mm. why our people are not connected. Mm. I can give the example of my borough. Because first of all, we don't have many ideal we don't have any mentors huh. we don't have people those who are and en who encourage us in all these years mm. i remember um, uh, we started a one small group of hindu center in southern mm. so our president was i'm talking about over 30 years ago now he was a counselor 
but he never encouraged me to become a counselor. Hmm. So only recently, about six, seven, eight years ago, when when I done a Diwali show in Sadak, I had about 18, 19 counselors from London of Sadak, hmm. plus our local MP Tessa Jol was there. Hmm. So the discussion came: is you've been working for the community for so many years, hmm. why don't you come into mainstream active politics? Hmm. So I never thought myself of coming. But there's the probably worse than that, though. You know, no, no. What I'm trying to say, no. What I'm trying to say, <laughs> we have to have some role model or somebody to initiate some yeah, people. No, some people do feel shy. You don't get role models unless you've got people there. Yeah. And that, and no, but in my borough, yeah. I don't have community. But what I'm trying to say, other people without community, they're yeah. supporting me yeah. to come become a counselor and then come to the stage. So in this country now, we have to have some people to encourage other person. Doesn't matter which party you join, I always say that. Hmm. But of course, I always say join my party. But doesn't matter any party. No, no, no. I'll say join any party, yeah. but we must encourage, especially yeah. our our but, Asian community, no, no, but, so to no, come into mainstream. So, is it a question, therefore, of encouragement, or is it a question of people <coughs> not coming forward? Um, I mean, both of you, I think, would would on this. There, 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 there's actually a mixture of both. Um, for me, it's looking from the outside. You, you look at Britain today. And in my lifetime of 37 years, I've seen it change immensely. There are, you know, more mixed race couples than there have ever been of any kind. Um, so the issue now is not of race and of I'm white, you're Indian, you're black, you're from Pakistan. Right? That's not the issue anymore. We're actually a specialist city like London. What I find is that within the Indian community, and I live in a large Indian community, they just simply don't put themselves forward. Okay, and for me. You've got to stop taking excuses and saying, well, I'm not going to stand because it's the British establishment and I will never get through the British establishment and the white man's going to stop me from doing that, right? That's an old, age-old excuse that needs to stop. I grew up in Wales and we say it as well, or the English never let us up the ladder, right? It's an age-old excuse that needs to stop. Do you think that's an issue of Indians not coming enough? forward? So in my, I think... I think there's there's two things here. So the first is, you know, I think this is a generational thing. It's the first thing. We are still, we, we forget that the first, I mean, there's not exact figures about when, when Indians started coming to the UK, but let's say the 50s. Mm. You know, that's 60 years ago, it's just mm. over 60 years ago. And then the kind of East African migration in the 70s. Um, and we've, we've done so much as a community, and we are so impressive as a community. And something struck me the other day, we run policy, regular policy forums, and we were talking about the Conservative Manifesto, what, what, do, what do Indians want to see in it? And the guy goes, you know, we do so well as it is, we just want the government to get out of the way. You know, because we are we're kind of a self-sufficient, self-reliant community, um, and that, I think that kind of <coughs> translates into this idea of people not thinking that they they have to say or they need a voice in politics, which is not right. You know, I think that's wrong. I'll take that to you, Mr. Say. Did you think you feel more confident if someone uh, you are from the business community, uh, if some person of Indian origin represents you in maybe the borough, or do you? Or yourself you don't think there is any need for anyone to do that the main thing is that uh, we looking more asians so we support oh definitely we are asian businessmen so we support always the asians also so we think why that you, sorry why you call yourself asian why not uh, you should be uh, proud to say you are indian no i'm uh, indian i'm proud to be indian they say but we come in an asian community and all these things so we uh, count in our no, we our should be called ourselves indians <laughs> in yeah. 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 yeah yeah because yeah. 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 yeah that's it we're proud to be indian and uh, uh, and we're more happy with a you know, member of parliament or an councillors of our indians so obviously we support to them and all this thing because at least whatever we have got the problems and the things we can share with them and uh, they can help to us. This is the thing we want to so share. So you do, there, there is a need and you feel more confident. We are more confident and some, I, think, I don't know, just Mr. Chopra, he said that like 30 years back nobody supported. I still want to ask you, still you got the problems like similar kind of that? No, I, I never said I had a problem. What I was saying, if you remember what I said, we need some role models, somebody to encourage you because we people are a bit shy, like you just said. We are so content in our own life. We got business, we got family, so sometimes we don't bother to come into politics. Mm. But we need some people like Sandy or me or anybody like us to encourage our young people to come, come into mainstream this, politics. Yeah, I mean, it's I think very important. If you don't come, they will make the decision whether you are there or not. Yeah, I so mean, if you are there, 
then at least we can say what is right, what is wrong. We I have to go a very long way. It's, it's not easy. It's not easy. No, it's, it's not. very easy to say that it's done, but it's not. I, I give you an example. <coughs> when uh, my Venus uh, Verma uh, was to be selected, uh, she got the first uh, uh, seat in Hull. Huh. And there's a 100% criteria, 100%. Hmm. And when I went with her first time, I, I told her, you're not going to get uh, selected here because there's hardly any, uh, you said, <coughs> Asian or Indian. Nobody was there. But uh, I don't know how she managed uh, because she was, uh, you have to be three or four hundred percent better than white people to be selected that is time. Is that the actually, case? Actually, 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 just a minute. I, what I would actually say that says is if you are selected by a 100% white panel, yeah. it proves the point that the age-old excuse of that, they're it. white, they won't select you doesn't yeah. exist. But, um, yeah. but, um, but the, big, the bigger point, the bigger point is, sorry, just for one second, yeah. the yeah. bigger point is not that they won't select. Mm. The bigger point is that when it comes to crucial winnable seats, yeah. Yeah. crucial winnable seats that mm -hmm. are there because you can almost be guaranteed to win, yeah. those seats are mm -hmm. very, very yeah. difficult to get selected for. I'm going to talk about that process in the next uh, segment. For I want to pick up on what is this process that is putting us behind. I also want to raise the issue of why should we have the discussion at all in the British scenario where we are talking about integration? Why do we want an Indian representation at all when we are talking that everyone should integrate and therefore we should not talk about um, Indian representing Indians, when we talk about Indians representing everybody, yeah. why are we actually contradicting our own selves? Is what I want to ask in the next section. Thank you very much, very much for your lovely contribution at this point in time. Please stay with us. We have crucial issue coming up uh, in the next segment about what is this selection process that keeps. Uh, probably in people of Indian origin behind and not coming forward and why do we need to talk about this at all stay with us on Chai Chat the point is politics still is very very difficult in this country now we have to have some people to encourage other person 